Well, pretty soon, Santa and his reindeer will depart the North Pole to deliver presents to children all over the world. Keeping a close eye on the whole operation is our country's defense system, NORAD. Officers there will track St. Nick as his sleigh travels faster than starlight, of course, with Rudolph guiding the way. So joining us now is retired Army Lieutenant Colonel John Cornelio for the North American Aerospace Defense Command. Thanks for being with us tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you for having us, and thank you for uh, giving us a minute or two to talk about the program. So can you tell us what Santa's doing right now? Well, it's important to know that what Santa's doing right now is preparing what we, to, what we expect to be his normal journey on uh, Saturday. What we're doing now is what we do each and every day, which is defend North America, um, maritime warning, aerospace warning, and aerospace control. And we do that. 24-7, 365, and we'll be doing that as well on December 24th when Santa starts his journey. So tell us a little bit about the partnership. How does the nation's defense system track Santa Claus? I mean, I would yeah. imagine this might be an unlikely pairing, but tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a pairing that's been going on for 67 years. And so uh, started back in 1955 um and um, has been going on for 67 years like i mentioned and there's really three ways that we end up tracking santa we use uh, our radar systems our satellites and then we also use our fighter jets both from the united states and canada to track santa's journey so are you just sort of traveling next to him in front of him behind him just making sure he's okay well, so actually what we do is we just track his um, journey around the world. As he enters into the North American airspace, uh, Canadian fighters and U.S. fighters will go up and just, you know, we just try to make contact with him. Typically, he'll slow down just a little, but he's a really busy person, as we all know. Uh, but he'll tip, we'll tip our wings to him. He'll give us a, a little bit of a, a wave, and then off he goes again, and we'll continue to track him using our satellites and radars. I imagine the little kids that are watching want to know, I mean, is Santa nice? Does he respond in kind? Yeah, well, I, I think all kids know exactly what the uh, right answer to that is, and that is Santa's an amazing person. Um, he has always been super to us. I think he really much, I think he really appreciates the job that we do for him. Um, and I can tell you on behalf of all of us here at NORAD, we really appreciate the job he does for kids all around the world. So can you tell us a little bit about when he might arrive in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania area? Yeah, great question. So. Um, what we know from you know from doing this for quite a while now is that Santa arrives at every kid's house somewhere between about nine o'clock and midnight, but only after they've gone to bed. If they haven't gone to bed, what we also know is that he typically will backtrack to make sure that he hits every good boy and girl house. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a very accomplished pilot. He moves very very quickly. Uh, but to the best of our knowledge, he hasn't let anybody down. No, I mean, he's never let me down. So I just want to say I'm a big believer through and through. Does he work under the same sort of time frame that we work under? I mean, 24 hours doesn't seem like that much time to get to every kid in the world. Yeah, no, that's a, a, another really good question. It seems from our perspective that Santa is working off a different time continuum than, than what you or I are working off. Um, but he'll typically get this journey done in roughly what we would call 24 hours. Okay, so I have just a few more questions for you from my four-year-old okay. who knew that, I told him that you know Santa, so he's watching. How old is Santa? He wants to know. Do you have any idea? Yeah, we don't, actually don't know his age. We've been tracking him for 67 years, but I can tell you this. Um, the man never looks like he's getting any older, so I think he's going to be doing this for still a, quite a while. Okay, good. Do you know how Mr. and Mrs. Claus met, and does she ever accompany him on the journey? Yeah, so we've never seen Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Claus on the journey. Um, you know, uh, maybe we'll see that someday, but so far we haven't seen that in our 67 years of tracking him. All right, very quickly, last one. Can he take back gifts if the little boys and girls are bad after Christmas? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know that answer, honestly. <laughs> you know, we're, that's probably a question better asked to Santa himself. Um, but I would be remiss to, again if I didn't tell you that, you know what, we really enjoy doing this. We enjoy tracking Santa. It's what we do each and every day for the citizens of this country and Canada. Um, and this is just our way of saying thank you to, to both countries on Christmas Eve by tracking him and letting kids all around the world know exactly where Santa is. And I encourage everybody to go to our website, noradsanta.org, to see exactly where he is. And if you want to talk to one of our volunteers that's in our op center please give us a call 1877 high norad we'd love to talk to you all right sir thank you so much happy holidays we appreciate your time
Happy holidays. And by the way, if you want to get an up-to-date location for Santa, you can call or text NORAD at one eight seven seven hi norad And as you mentioned, you can also track Santa at NORADSanta.org.